Hi guys, it's Wendy here with Artfully Created. Happy Halloween. I wanted to make a quick video. Well, mine are never quick. Um, boy, I had a, I did a class last night, a mixed media class, and I had a personal friend sign up, and the class was from 6.30 to 9.30, and she didn't leave until like 10.30 because we sat and gapped and my mom was in the class and you know they take book groups together and so we just sat around gabbing and and I didn't get to sleep until midnight so I am just exhausted and I still have to finish my homework. I have a quiz to take online and to finish my essay this week and I'm trying to avoid it. Well, I shouldn't because I don't want a bad grade, but before I, well, I always make this rule that I can't go shopping unless I finish my homework. Well, I went shopping because if you follow paper and stamping, Myra, you did this to me, you enabled me, and I was watching her video on her Tuesday morning haul, and I don't think I even lasted to the whole video. I saw she posted, I believe it was this die, and I literally flew off my bed, hopped into the shower, got dressed, and got to Tuesday morning, even before they opened up, because I wanted this die. And I think this is the one that she showed. And, they had stencils and I went wacky. I mean, I literally lost my head because how can you, when it's such a good price, how can you say no? Cause you'll never find them again and they'll never be that low ever, ever, ever again. So I figured since I'm teaching mixed media classes, I can write them off. And so, this was the first die that I found. And I don't have a lot of edge dies, so I wanted edge dies. And while well, I'm not blaming Myra because it was my own will that got me to Tuesday morning. So I do appreciate when you guys do your haul videos, but they are enabling, just saying. So we got that. And then I found this one and there's a scalloped and then a pointy edge, which you can do pointy edge with pinking shears, but why do that when it's so 80s and you can do this now? And then I found the file, file folder edge. Even though I know how to do this on the envelope punch, which I have a class that we're gonna teach this file fo folder card and you know, I, we made it using the envelope punch from Stamp It Up, so, but I thought, you know, with ease, you can just do that if necessary. So I got it, cause why not? And then I found these Glimmer Mist, and they did have a bunch of Glimmer Mist, but this was the only one I got, cause I wasn't sure what colors I had, and, this one is called Winter Wishes, and once you shake them up, I don't know if the back side you can see, there's kind of a purple, purplish, golden color. They were really pretty when you shook them up. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. So I got that. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for the stencils? This was, I just, I love stencils. This is the best way to add texture. Oh my gosh. And I didn't get, I didn't take them all. And there were some that I left that I didn't think I liked the design. And this one is, I like the stitching. And I liked the love, and I like these little bubbles. What 
I would do with these other things. I'm not sure. And then I love these little just geometric patterns. And I don't know if you're picking that up. There you go. And it's like I almost just rolled out of bed deciding to do this. Just in case it didn't wasn't clear before. So let's keep going. And I hope I don't flash my face because I still have bed head. Still in my PJs. And then this one, I was not intending to buy it. I thought I'd put it down, but apparently it found my hand again. And I don't know what that design is under the label, but this is really cute right here. And then this corner tree and even that scallop fly. So that will be an interesting one to use. And then the rest I got were 12 by 12. So the whole thing is not gonna fit in the in the camera. But I'll oops. Try to put as much as I can. And I love this. I've been watching this on Amazon. And it's been in my wish list for a while. Don't you just love it? Oh my gosh. These are so awesome. And the big ones were $2.99. I mean, these are usually $10 in my area for these 12 by 12s. And the six by six are $1.99. And they do have these at Aaron Brothers for $5. You can use a coupon and get them for $2.50. And this is better than a coupon. And I have a six by six one of this pattern, which some of the people in class used, which I'm glad they did. And this one is like mosaic tiles. That was a Dina Wakely. There's only this one from Dina Wakely. So I snatched it. And then another face. And a Bowser design. And I just love them. So much you can do with them. Like a doily. And it almost looks like there's faces. Can you see that? So it's very ethnic looking. I like that. Oh, and I love this one. Look at that. Oh. So pretty. Kind of tree veins or tree markings. And it's almost animal printish like. And then I I have a bunch of different circles, but and this was the only off brand that I'd never heard of before. Jilly Bean by Hampton Art. And that was 99 cents. And then, oh, I love this. Kind of that ethnical and ethnic and animal print in like a doily. And that was the Crafter's Workshop designed by Jamie. I've never heard of that one either and then this one is just the photo and this is another one I had not intended to buy and apparently my hand did intend to buy it that's okay it that could work for somebody and then I love this all different borders So that was it 
for Tuesday morning and then just a couple stores down we have a dollar store or Dollar Tree and I found these I had never seen those there before and Myra I think you even sent me some sequins and some happy mail and I wondered where well I might have seen one of your haul videos where you had picked them up and I'm pretty sure you were the one that send it, sent me some and I actually found them now so pretty and I found washi tape or I guess it's not the brand washi it's just the off-brand so you got animal prints and animal stripes and then this is a black almost like a chalkboard it has love and some flowers you can see and this was I love this one leaves and vines and then they did have this scotch brand which I've seen the scotch but I have a ton of this already but I don't think I have this design so I picked that one up and then this one has foxes and mushrooms and owls and snails and hedgehogs and acorns so I thought that was very cute and then this geometric pattern which I like the colors and after that I had to go home and not leave the house again so that was my haul hope you enjoyed that and I am very sorry if I enable anyone but it's all good right we help each other out let people know what is possibly in stores so we can hunt and seize as well so anyway happy Halloween thanks for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.